Hey YouTube and welcome to the next video in this series on HTML and CSS for beginners. As you can see on the screen right now, we're looking at divs and spans today. So divs and spans are very important for creating our websites, especially divs which help us really control our layout. So we're going to start with those. Uh, a div is, well, a div, uh, it's short for division, so open div, close div. And uh, it pretty much helps us separate our content. So I'm going to make a div there and let's come oops. Uh, inside of here. Let's put a paragraph and put I'm inside a div close paragraph. And let's come down here and do another div and close div. And right here we will do a paragraph. This is div number two. Close P. So if I save that and I refresh, it looks exactly the same. Nothing much uh, has really happened right there. We we just have text, just it's two paragraphs, it's just like if I didn't have them. Some people have trouble with divs, especially early on, because by default, they're not really doing a whole lot. They're just there. And by default, a div is 100% width, so it's taking up all the space, and its height is zero. They, they pretty much, they, you, they're invisible, they're just there, and their height is zero, but they grow for the content that's inside of them. So the, it's pretty much a box that's exactly the same size as my text, but it's stretching the whole way across the page. And well, you can't visualize that, so why don't we come into our style sheet here and uh, select it. So I'm going to say div, and let's give it a background so we can see it. So background, let's make it pink. And there we go, we can see my two divs. So I've selected both my divs and I've changed their backgrounds over to pink and I can see them. So I got two boxes there and right away you might be able to see how this can be helpful. I can separate my content into different boxes and I can control those boxes. I can give them background colors and I can give them sizes and stuff like that. So why don't I do that right now? Uh, I'm gonna give it a width of say 500 pixels. So I'm going to tell it how big it needs to be. I want this to be 500 pixels and it's 500 pixels and I'm going to give it a height of 500 pixels. So we have squares. And now I have two boxes of 500 pixels by 500 pixels with pink backgrounds. Awesome. I'm just going to come in here now and I want to give, um, I'm going to make my paragraphs a little bit longer just because I want to do a few things with them. So I've just got some filler text here, just like we used to have on the home page. Save that and refresh. And I can see there's my two boxes. And actually, uh, I'm going to delete the height just to show you what I was talking about. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to bring these back to normal paragraphs and save that. Um, so I mentioned that the div will grow to fit the content that's inside of it. So right now my div is really small and if I paste this text in there and I save it and I refresh, whoa, there you go. Uh, it's growing automatically to fit the content. And let's do that for our second paragraph over here. Paste my filler text in and it grows again to match the content that's inside of it. So divs are for blocks of content. They hold things or they're, they're big can, you know, boxes that hold stuff pretty much. Band tags, on the other hand, are like, are strong and bold. Oh, strong and bold, strong and italic. So if you remember, we had our strong and close strong. Got to spell it properly, close strong. Uh, we'll make my text bold and M, close M will make my text italic. But what if I don't want to make it bold or italic? What if I want to change the color of my text? So let's come over here. Uh, let's choose the first few words over here. And I'm going to put a span tag. And over here, I'm going to close my span tag. I'm going to save that. And we can come over here and do span. And let's do color is something that will really stand out, yellow. Refresh, and I can now control uh, the color of my text. I could even come in and change the font, Whoops. font size, 40 pixels, and that text becomes much bigger. Uh, I could do font weight, bold, 
if I also want it to be bold. And there we go. It can be nice and bold. Let's take that one off, though. And just to show you, we can sort of play around uh, with a whole bunch of stuff that's in there. And the span tag lets me select different lines of text. If I tried doing that for my div, so let's say I did, uh, let's add a new div down here. Let's add a paragraph. Paragraph. Uh, let's just add one of those long paragraphs again, actually. So I have a nice long paragraph. And let's say I wanted, you know, starting here, I want this text to have a pink background color. So I do my div, and let's close that div here. Close div. And I save that. And it's getting a pink background color, but it's also getting a whole bunch of other problems. Uh, and it's even really breaking my site, in all honesty, because, well, the browser's doing a few things here. I, I've opened my paragraph, and it's getting to here, and then there's a new div. So the new div is forcing a new line of text. A div is sort of like a paragraph. They're both what we call block-level elements, which means they stack one on top of each other. They never fit in, you know, here, if I have a link, I have bold text. These are inline elements. They can sit in a line with other stuff. Whereas block level elements, it's like Legos sticking together, but the Legos, you know, they stick one on top of each other. You put two blocks of Lego next to each other, they don't stick together. So block level elements like to stack one on top of each other. So this paragraph is fine. Then it's putting a text inside my div, but the color of it is changing to white. And all of this um, is just white here. So what the browser is actually doing by default is it's closing the paragraph here because it's saying, well, now there's a div starting and I can't have a paragraph go here and then keep going into a div. It just, it doesn't work that way. We can't sort of have a paragraph half hanging inside and outside of a box. The paragraph is either inside the box or outside the box. The reason the text color is different is because I had originally said on my body, all text should be white, but all my paragraphs should be this dark color. So all my paragraphs are getting this dark color. My paragraph is ending here. It, the browser goes, it can't, my paragraph has to stop here. So it's automatically closing it. It's putting in the div, but this isn't paragraph text anymore. So it's switching over to white and this is just causing all sorts of issues. If I make this a span though, save, refresh, then there's no problem at all. Span is great and works fine and it's all good and dandy. Now when you're first looking at this you might be going, well I don't, you know, I get, okay I can make blocks with my divs and I can control my text a little bit with spans, but you might not really get quite why we're learning this yet. Um, you know, you probably aren't going to have a website layout that looks like this, but websites are really made up of lots of blocks of content. So here I've just pulled up the w3schools.com website, and if you haven't been on this site before, it's a really nice reference for HTML and CSS and other languages as well. Uh, they have tutorials, not my favorite ones, but you can follow along with them, but as far as a reference, they're really nice. It's like a sort of a dictionary for HTML and CSS. And uh, I just want to show it to you guys because we can sort of see how everything's made of a blocks. So I got a block that goes all the way across the top here. Then I have this green block here. I have a big block that runs down the side of my site here. Uh, I have a block here that has two blocks inside of it. I have another two there inside of a block. Again and again, the layout. No, here we got three. So you can see it's just block after block after block. These are all divs that are creating this whole layout. Divs are the really the building blocks of um, sites, and spans are just an extra little thing for styling. You know, they're not all looking the same. And right now, with my site, they're all looking the same. All my divs are pink, and they're all the same size. So in the next video, we're going to start exploring how we can actually make them different from one another. Until then, though, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Leave any comments for questions you might have down below, and I'll see you in the next video.